Jared Gordon has no doubt that he should have won the main event of UFC 282 against Patty Pimblett. I want to talk, motherfucker, you know what? fucking guy. Bad to you, I want to talk, motherfucker, lad. That's what I want. I'd have people with some of them shots and they just don't keep coming forward, lad. No, I don't, I have you no brain. You can take a fucking punch, man. I just, you hit me, I'm like, eh. Yeah. Lad, I like swear. Another guy fucking hits me, right? Lad, you can take Fuck. a fucking shot with it. Mr. Point Portner. According to MMA decisions, despite the vast majority of media members scoring the fight in Gordon's favor, Pimblett ultimately prevailed with all three judges awarding him the victory on 29-28 scorecards. Gordon expressed his dissatisfaction on Twitter. Everybody knows I got robbed, Gordon wrote after the bout. I can cry over it, but I've gone through worse and God's plan is the best plan, so I'm confident that something great will come of it. While he was a significant underdog entering into Saturday night's bout, Gordon took the fight to Pimblett in every round but especially in the first 10 minutes when he was firing massive blows on the highly high prospect from Liverpool, England. Gordon's left hook consistently landed on Pimblett, who had no protection on his feet and held his chin high, causing him to take a number of shots in the opening two rounds. In the third round, Gordon chose to press Pimblett against the cage and work from the clinch without inflicting much damage to either combatant. Pimblett received the decision to continue unbeaten in the UFC. Pimlet, for his part, did not comprehend the debate while promoting himself as the fight's undisputed victor. Pimlet stated in his post-fight remarks, That was not close. After winning the first two rounds, I coasted through the third. I knew I would easily win the first two rounds. Pimlet will depart UFC 282 with another victory, but Gordon is understandably despondent after his loss. A few days after UFC 282, Jared Gordon is still struggling to comprehend how Patty Pimblett was able to defeat him. You're in a good mood. I mean, uh, I don't know that everybody is right now. Kind of a wild ending, right? I guess give us your thoughts on the main event. What are you going to do? I think the main event was terrible. Um, you know, what are you going to do? What about the scoring of it itself? Mm. We've seen this. This is nothing new. It's, it's like the Patty Pimblett fight. It's like Gordon had a horrible game plan going into that third round. You think you won the first two rounds with, with the judges? I mean, how do you know that? Why go in there and throw away the third round and not go in and fight your ass off and try to win? If you, if you think you know who won what round or whatever, you're crazy. I've been doing this f***ing idea what those guys are going to do and what they're going to say. So, you know, um, yeah. Did you have anybody winning in the main event? Did you? Did you have? One? I don't even know. I started to zone out after in three rounds. So, you know, I, I, I heard that Uncle Iev is upset and whatever. Despite what was largely viewed as a winning performance, the New York native was informed that his opponent had won the fight 29-28. Upon hearing the result, Gordon was obviously dejected, and to tell the truth, he is still trying to make sense of everything that transpired. Gordon told MMA Fighting, "It's heartbreaking. I'm devastated." Obviously, there's nothing I can do, we shall see what transpires. Gordon, who entered the bout as a clear underdog, dominated most of the exchanges with Pimblet by consistently landing his combinations, especially a left hook that connected virtually every time he threw it. Pimblet undoubtedly responded with his fair number of blows, but Gordon dominated the first two rounds of exchanges. Gordon chose to press Pimblet against the cage and look for takedowns in the third round, which slowed the action substantially. Gordon offers no explanation for his performance in the final five minutes of the fight, but it turns out he was slightly impaired by an injury sustained early on in the fight. My ankle was severely injured in the first round. Poor, Gordon admitted. I continued to throw kicks, but by the third round, it was painful to push off off it and to be on it. I realized I was superior everywhere, I reversed his counterattacks, took him down, better control time, better against the fence in the clinch, my blows were cleaner and more effective. I was landing quite effective leg kicks. I anticipated there would be three rounds. I wish I had done a few things differently, particularly in the third round, but I believe that I won each round. He stated that he coasted in the third round, but in my mind, I won the first two. I'm winning this round, so let's not play it foolish. I'm going for the takedown. I stood with his back for a short while. When you're inside the cage, it's very different than when you're watching from the outside, but I believe I'd won. But clearly, there were other plans. According to Gordon, Pimblet's ankle damage was caused by the calf and shin bone kicks that he delivered early in the bout. It turns out that Gordon experienced a similar ankle injury in a poor fight with Grant Dawson, but it was never severe enough to require more than physical treatment. What are you going to do? Well, can I ask you about what you thought about the Patty Pimblet score as well? But there's a lot of kind of going back and forth on that one as well. The same, same thing. You know what I mean? I, I thought that Jared Gordon's game plan in the third round was horrible. You know, he, he felt like he had the first two rounds and he went in and pushed him against the fence 
and 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 I, I, I gotta go after the ref too. You know, a big fight, co-main event, third round, crowd's going crazy, and you're gonna let them stand against the fence the entire fight. You know, but these are these things that happen. What are you gonna do? Horrible game plan by uh, Gordon. Uh, you know, the ref let it happen, and he threw. I found it difficult to move around on it. Gordon stated. My right ankle, hence my back foot, is a source of my strength. It is what it is, fights inevitably lead to injuries. I believed I was winning at the time, I exerted authority over him. I was landing knees, I was attempting to defeat him. I was ascending, descending, and changing levels. It's not as though I was simply holding him. I was attempting to defeat him. Rewatching the fight further bolstered Gordon's conviction that he had done more than enough to secure the victory, despite his injured ankle. As I rewatched the fight, I felt as though I won every round, Gordon stated. I believe that 99.9% .9 of the world also believes that I've won. It's not like either outcome was possible. No, I decisively won, but Doug Crosby is blind or something, and I know the other guys had it going the other way as well, but I don't see how anyone could have given him every round. It is not possible. The judges, Doug Crosby, Ron McCarthy, and Chris Lee, scored the second round for Pimbla unanimously. However, the first and third rounds were scored differently. Gordon believed that he should have won all three rounds, or at least received a 29-28 unanimous judgment in his favor. Instead, he departed with the loss, and he continues to struggle to comprehend why. Gordon stated that it is likely one of the worst judgments ever made. At this point, it has to be one of the worst decisions in the UFC, if not the worst. I missed up on numerous opportunities since the fight. I have not heard from a couple of sponsors that were in the works, but that I lost. A setback on my record. What are they doing now? It's still so new, so I have to see how everything develops. So many things are running through my mind. One minute, I thought this wasn't too horrible. The following instant, I'm shattered. I'm okay, I should be grateful, and I feel just fine. Then I consider everything, and again, I'm devastated. It's a tragic situation. I have no idea what to say. I no longer know what to think. I lost a great deal. Regardless, I believe the majority of the globe is aware of the true winner. In the aftermath of the fight, Pimblet vehemently rejected the notion that he had somehow lost, declaring that he was certain of his triumph. Pimblet went so far as to argue that he probably should have earned a 30-27 scorecard if he'd won all three rounds. I think he's uh, unpredictable, and I think that he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeves, and he's a good grappler, and uh, that was his base. But he goes for it standing, he kicks, he th flying knees, he, you know, big punches. Uh, and this is MMA, you know, this isn't boxing, this isn't, um, you know, kickboxing. There's so many variables that, you know, I'll spar with amateurs and I'm like, why am I getting my ass kicked right now? So, I'm looking at it like, this is the best fighter that I've ever fought. Gordon was unfazed by Pimblet's statements because he knows the outspoken Liverpool native will never acknowledge defeat. And Pimblet has no way of believing that he won UFC 282. Gordon stated he must maintain his entire personality and his shtick. Before the match, he predicted that he would knock me out in the first round. I was closer to injuring him than he was injuring me. If you look at my face, you'll notice that I have scratches, which are truly scratches from unknown sources and a black eye. People are like, damage, destruction is scratches, it's not like I'm bleeding profusely or something. Then, after the fight, he says that he won all three rounds, but he must maintain his momentum. It does not truly irritate me. That is simply how he is. That is him. This is what he'll continue to do. He's never gonna admit defeat. That is ludicrous. He knows what transpired within himself, so do the rest of his teammates. Likewise, so do all fans. He's not an idiot, and neither are those who are around him. He is undoubtedly aware that I defeated him. He could not have possibly watched that fight and thought to himself, yep, I've won. The agony of the decision is still fresh, but Gordon is still doing his best to focus on the future while discussing the next steps. Gordon would love the opportunity to run him back with Pimblet again preferably with much less controversy this time, and he's willing to travel into enemy territory to make it happen. Gordon stated, The only thing that makes sense to me is a rematch, and I'll travel to London to fight him. I don't care, it is immaterial. Obviously, I'm quite bitter right now, and it's been three days, but I still can't see the silver lining. There is one, but it will take some time to become clear. I've never fought, and I'm not looking past him whatsoever. He's tricky. He does more like, you know, dynamic movements, like flying armbars, flying triangles. Uh, he takes the back really well also. Um, do I think he's necessarily as solid as a grappler as, say, Grant Austin or Joe Selecki? I don't know.
If he believes that he can finish in the top 15 or top 10, he'll need more experience beforehand. Everyone in the top 15 is a brute. If he can win two fights against me, he may be ready, but so far, he has lost a first. Therefore, it makes sense to determine his true position and try again. I believe that makes sense, especially given where he is in his career and his level of expertise. He couldn't get past me. Obviously, it would also benefit me, and I want it back. 